Welcome back. Well, if you've got some teens at home thinking about college, we're speaking with a parent educator, Dr. Amy Alomar, about how to talk to your kids about these big decisions. And she's joining us live now. Thank you so much for Hi. being here, Dr. For Amy Alomar. Good morning. Um, good morning. So when it comes to college acceptance and rejection letters, that can be so devastating. How do you talk to your kids about it and kind of focus on the positive? So first of all, if you got in, congratulations. Right. And pat yourself on the back. And if it's your first choice, fantastic. And if it's not, then you have choices. So you go through those choices, and the best thing you can do is support your child through that decision process. So let them drive. Let them really make those decisions. And what about when it comes to the financial aspect? You know, maybe there's one school that would be financially beneficial for the entire family versus another school that didn't give any money, and you know, maybe Maybe it's very expensive. How do you yeah. deal with that? Well, money is a reality, and hopefully you've been talking about this the whole time. But if you haven't, it's not too late. You want to be as honest as you can with your kids. So whatever you can make happen, then you say, this is what we can do. Now, you have some alternatives. There are financial aid alternatives. You can do merit scholarships. There's athletic scholarships. Those are few and far between, so you don't want to rely on them. But you should definitely find out about them, and the school can help you with those. Um, your library will have resources, and your guidance counselor will also have resources so you just want to make use of all of that information and lay it all out on the table once you know what your choices are if you can't do something you can't do it and you might have to look at a student loan and that has a lot of responsibility so you don't want to take that on lightly yes that's true when you when you're talking about what school to go to we, we talked about what the do's are but what are the don'ts what should you not say what are the things that you should not say to your child as they as they make this decision yeah you want to make sure first of all that it's not the only topic of conversation because so often mm. this becomes even starting in your 10th or, or 11th grade year parents focus on this and it's all around the kids and so they're getting the pressure from everywhere so first of all don't make it the only conversation but take it seriously make sure that your kids understand where you're coming from but let them make decisions let them own it because the better the fit the more likely they will to succeed at the college and that they'll stay there. When you have kids who end up at schools because they feel pressured to go there or they're not jazzed about it, you end up seeing higher transfer rates and burnout. Mm. That's good advice. Anything for the parents who are just kind of entering this conversation with their kids, they haven't applied yet, they're thinking about it? The hardest piece of advice to follow is have fun. This is a super <laughs> stressful time and there's going to be a lot to do, but make it fun. Visit as many campuses as you can just to get a feel, even if it's not a college you're looking at, just to get a feel of what a city school is, what an urban school, rural school, you know, just to compare and looking at small schools, big schools, is there a certain course of study or extracurricular specialty that you're interested in? And I think too with the kids, the stress is enough for them. So if the parents are stressed, they're going to know it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Amy Allen, our great you. information. And for more, you can always head to our website, WTNH.com. Go to that on-air tab, pull it down to the Good Morning Connecticut weekend section.